The AI voice generation has reached its limits. Predictable output. Limited control. It's over. The era of simple playback is over. Introducing Open Audio S1, the first ever AI voice actor that allows you to control not just what is said, but precisely how. Standard delivery is fine, but what if you need more? You can pinpoint focus or draw it closer. Even yelling why you betray me like this. You can describe any emotion and apply to any character. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Oh, Barnacles, this is the most amazing day ever. I get to flip Krabby Patties and go jellyfishing with Patrick. My mama always said, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Open Audio S1 captures every detail you need. It is now available on Fish Audio website. You can try it in our playground, create amazing content in studio, or seamlessly integrate it into your own applications through our advanced API. It outperforms every competitor in naturalness, expressiveness, and accuracy. S1 empowers creators everywhere for podcasts, AI companion, gaming, and so much more. Stop generating, start creating. So the Fish Beat model by Fish Audio was just rebranded to Open Audio, and they dropped what they're calling the S1 model. Um, it's a family of models. It has the S1 and S1 mini. And in this video, what we're gonna do is run two different tests. We're gonna try out the S1 model, because the S1 model, to use it, you will need to head over to fish.audio to be able to try it out. But for the S1 mini, it's actually open source, which means we can actually try it out locally. And that's what we're going to be doing in this particular video. We'll be trying out the both of them. And for the first test, we're gonna be cloning Optimus Prime's voice. We're going to use the same WAV file or the same reference audio to try out the open source model and also the same audio to try out the full version, that is the full S1 version, which is hosted on Fish Audio. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this particular video. That's the first test. Then the next test, we're gonna be more focused on the local setup and how to actually use it locally we already have it here i've uploaded it optimus a wave and i have also i just selected a cover image it doesn't really matter i also named it optimus prime so make sure you're in the voice cloning section and make sure you've signed up or you've actually signed into your fish audio account and now we're going to create this the next thing is going to do is transcribe the audio because for voice cloning most models actually require the transcript of that particular reference audio for beta voice cloning so it has actually done that as you can see here this is 17 seconds so let's actually hear it freedom is the right of all sentient beings but with that freedom comes great responsibility as you can actually hear this is what it's actually saying so we can actually save it so it will save it to our voice library as you can see my voice library that's where i actually have it and status is succeeded we can use it and then right here we can paste in our text so let's clear this one and we're going to paste in our text right now so for our first test, this is what we're going to be passing in we have our emotional markers um serious confident then we have the text autobots we stand at the crossroad of destiny then the pause the faith of humanity rests in our hands and we shall not fail them so let's try this let's click on the free tier that's what we're actually using and we're going to x this let's generate it autobot we stand at the crossroads of destiny. The fate of humanity rests in our hands, and we shall not fail them. Okay, not bad. Uh, it sounds serious and confident. Um, but let's try something. We're going to pass in crying loudly. Okay, let's generate this. Crying loudly. Autobots, we stand at the crossroads of destiny. The fate of humanity rests in our hands, and we shall not fail them. That was weird. That was really weird. So what I'm gonna do now is this. I'm going to show something here. Speaker one, this. So let's actually see if it will actually work. Autobots, we stand at the crossroads of destiny. The fate of humanity rests in our hands and we shall not fail them. It's 
still didn't actually work so i don't know if it's because i don't have premium so i can't actually play around with high quality mode i don't know if that's a problem but we are definitely going to be trying this out with the model the local one because they did say here that the s1 supports it they need to actually specify if it's just the s1 the full one or the mini because when they talk about the open audio s1 they are talking about both of them naturally um except they're actually being specific because here they said um, Open Audio S1 supports a variety of emotional tone and special markers to enhance speech synthesis. They didn't actually give any exception for the S1 Mini. So the S1 Mini is supposed to work. Let's just head over to our IDE and make sure you have set up your virtual environment. I'm going to be using Virtual EMV. You can use Condor. But the Python version I'm actually going to be using is Python 3.12. I'm also going to be dropping the link to the official GitHub repo. Um, this is the official GitHub repo for free speech. So you would actually need to clone this into your project directory. And since I'm actually going to be running this locally, you can just clone this particular Hugging Face repo um, to get this model weight. Or you could download it manually and at the end of the day, put it in one particular folder. I already have mine downloaded and then my project directory so i don't need to worry about that so you can use the git clone and the link to whatever hugging face repo you want or you can use the hugging face hub cli so let's head over to the ide and as you can see we have our project directory opened up in our ide over here we have our model weights um, and here we have our github repo the fish speech github repo i did rename it to fish underscore speech from fish dash speech so i can be able to locate the models i actually need here in the voice.py file and if we head over to main.py we are actually instantiating the voice service class that is this class and we're passing in our text to the open audio function which is this one so in the voice service class all we're doing is setting the output directory we'll create it if it doesn't exist if it does we'll ignore this anyways we have the open audio function which takes in a text and it's actually a three-step process but we're actually using two different functions if we go back to the import section as you can see we renamed um, the main function here as infer and this other main function as generate um, we can't actually just import <laughs> main twice it will definitely ignore this first one so we have to actually rename it anyways it's pretty basic i'm going to drop the link to my own repo in this video description so if you want to actually use open audio this way you could but the official method to use open audio is through the cli so if we head over to docs to english and we'll go to inference now um let's look at this this way as you can see this is what they're actually doing so you can actually pass in this as your reference audio and then the checkpoint path and all that so this is the official method it's basically a command line in france uh, and the reason why i don't like it is because it's a three-step process and i don't want to have to paste this in change the reference audio then for the next step you have to actually copy this one you have to edit this and all that so it's a very long tedious process and then you would need to still run this one and i'm not a fan of it i'm really not a fan of it so what i did was i did change some part of the code because if we head over to inference what i did was since we are no longer using the command line since we are not actually using the command line and i want to pass arguments into the main function directly i commented these two lines out as you can see and i also went down here and commented this part out so we don't actually run the main function with no arguments that's the reason why i actually did it this way i also did same thing to this particular file and if you scroll down I just comment this out and I also did the same thing down here. It's pretty straightforward and very easy to set up. That's what I actually did. So we are passing our text here and we're passing it into the generate function. Generate function also takes in the prompt text. The prompt text is basically the transcript of whatever audio file you want to clone. In this case, it's Jarvis or Wave. So that's what the speaker is actually saying in Jarvis or Wave. That's what we're passing in here. So let me comment this out because we won't be passing in Jarvis. I will actually change it to Optimus. And let's zoom in. So something else to take note of is um, this particular config. So this, we're actually setting it to the default. This is what they actually passed in in the inference file that we went to earlier so that's what that's what we are passing in we're just taking all the default and right here the checkpoint path it's actually pointing to the model directly as you know that's where i kept all the model weights so it's pointing to codec.pth and that's found in the model directory if we go over here as you can see 
codec.pth. Now we set device to CPU as usual. Then for the second function, um, we can actually set half to false. If you look over here, they say something here. For GPUs that do not support BF16, that's um, BFload16 data, data type, you may need to use the half parameter. Um, since I'm using a MacBook M1 Pro, um, it actually does support that. So I'm going to be setting this to false. And the number of samples is two. So the number of samples, it's going to generate this file. This command will create a code underscore n file in the working directory. That's this particular second function that's what it's going to do um where the n is an integer starting from zero since i set the samples to two it's going to generate codes underscore zero and codes underscore one now i talked about this in the fish speech um, video the video i created on fish speech um it's basically the same thing it's actually doing here and i set this to codes underscore one as my default because that actually produces the best high quality audio after cloning the voice. So I do actually prefer that instead of the first sample. Anyways, um, that's basically really straightforward. And you can play around with the temperature and also the compile. If you look here, we have a note here. You may want to use compile flag to fuse CUDA kernels for faster inference. So I just set mine to true. Yeah, if you have CUDA, that would be really great. Um, it would actually really work for you. Correspondingly, if you do not plan to use acceleration, you can comment out the compile. So basically, if you wanted to accelerate and actually produce the audio faster or to actually run that command faster. So that's something you can actually do. And that's basically it. And for the last function, or let's say the second to last function, uh, we're actually passing in one of the samples here and we have our output path to output a wave. That's the file that will be definitely be generated the moment this code is done running. Um, so we have the config as default. Then we also have the checkpoint path to the codec.pth and we have our device. Now for the last function, we are automatically playing the output of wave that is a file. Once this open audio function is done running, it will definitely generate the output of wave because of this line right here so we are going to automatically play it and we have the play function here it's using pygame mixer and you can just uncomment this if you want the file to be removed automatically the moment it's done playing it but let's just leave this as is anyways that's how we're going to do it i have passed in the text which we used in the fish.audio test like when we were on their websites we did use this particular text let's close this that's the text we actually used for the first time. So we're going to see if it will adhere to the markers, like if it will actually take the markers seriously and, you know, generate something really, really cool. So let's run this code. So we're going to change Jarvis or Wave to Optimize or Wave. That's what we're going to do now. And now we can actually run the code. Since we have actually passed in the transcripts in the prompt text, let's just take this line out and let's run it. So this is actually quitting and the reason why is this particular audio file is 33 seconds but when we did try it out in the official S1 model, the fish.audio website, it actually didn't have any problem accepting that particular audio but right now it's currently quitting. So let's just trim it and reuse. So I've replaced Optimus or Wave in our project directory and this time it's just 10 seconds just to be safe. It's way below the max. So we are actually going to change the transcript now it actually ends here this time earlier the transcript wasn't even correct so uh, maybe that was an issue but i'm not too sure that was actually the issue so i'm going to just stick with this transcript let's run the code and see if it will actually work this time autobots we stand at the crossroads of destiny the fate of humanity rests in our hands and we shall not fail them. Not bad, it actually sounded very good. The only problem is it didn't actually use the markers. That's the problem, it didn't actually use the markers. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to add in a different marker and I'm going to try again, this time really fast, we're gonna speed it up. So I actually added these two tags, whispering and laughing. Let's see if it will actually make any difference. Autobots. We stand at the crossroads of destiny. The fate of humanity rests in our hands, and we shall not fail them. Okay, it has actually finished. And it still did not use any of the markers. 
for whatever reason <laughs> it didn't actually use any of the markers and if you check here we actually have a temperature of 0 0.3 which is way lower than the one that we saw on their website um so i do not know what the problem is but this time we're going to clone my voice that's what we're going to do next so we're going to see if it'll actually do a good job at cloning my own voice so this is the audio file here please find attached the comprehensive list of issues we noticed while reviewing the apps Really simple. Um, so we're just going to change this to Austin. And this time I'm going to pass in my transcript. So let me just copy that. Okay, this time I'm going to be passing in a different text. This time let's leave only laughing. Let's see if it would actually work. But the main thing is we're going to see if it can generate high quality you like if you can actually clone my voice really well especially since i don't have any of the us or british accent so let's see if it will actually work as you can see it actually failed even though the audio file is just 23.30 seconds so let's trim it and try again currently it's at 13 seconds or 12 seconds please find attach the comp this means it is so let's trim the prompt text now let's run the code again <laughs> this is me talking. Are you sure it's me? Hi there. Okay. My name is Austin Brain. The fate of humanity rests in our hands and we shall not fail them. Not bad. It's not really bad. Let's open it and actually output, um, output the wave. <laughs> this is me talking and this is me talking. Are you sure it's me talking right now? Hi there. My name is Austin Brain. Not bad. <laughs> it's not actually bad. It's not actually bad. The only problem is it didn't actually use any of the markers. Like as you can see, we actually added laughing here. It ignored the markers. And that's a problem. Um maybe they have a different way of actually using the markers. I do not know because there's no option to actually add it in apart from passing it in together with the text string. And so for my final thoughts, I do think it's a pretty decent model. It's really cool. The only problem is it doesn't actually use the markers and they bragged about it. That's just the problem. They do brag about a lot of this stuff. But in terms of voice coding, it actually does a pretty decent job. Just like Fitched Pitch, um, I'm going to drop the link to those videos in this particular video description. Like I said, I actually did videos on fish speech and they were pretty decent. Like they actually did a good job when it comes to cloning my voice and also Jarvis's voice. So I don't know what the difference is here, even though they're rebranded. <laughs> Something that would be really cool to actually see is if the markers actually worked. If they, since they have lots of emotional and tone markers, it would have been really, really cool, honestly. So that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you do like, subscribe, hit that bell notification icon if you want to be notified whenever I release a new video on this channel. Thank you for watching. Have a nice one.